Got my gloves frozen and wet outside. Got them by the fire now. The snow presents extra challenges. I put this off a few days. Uh oh. So this here is my chicken coop door. I will be attempting to wire first because it's smaller and portable and I just figured it might be the best way to try and learn how to staple or attach wire to an object. This is the back side of my door and I'm going to attach the wire to the frame. And the reason why I'm putting on the back side is so that everything looks pretty and tidy from the front. 64 and a half from top to bottom. I would like to announce my newbie mistake I just made. This thing's off just even a little bit. That's gonna affect your measurement anywhere from you know a quarter an inch to half an inch or more. So, whoops, I wised up and ran my tape right along an edge. And I found out I was off by quarter of an inch. My makeshift plywood table here is not long enough to measure out the full 62 and a half inches. I will comfortably cut to there, pull the whole project to the, the start line over, over whatever you want to call it here, and, and then measure from there. Uh, I might even mark here. You know what I'm going to do? Yes, this is what I'm going to do. See? Noob thinking on the fly. I've got 50 inches. I'm going to make a little cut here at the 50 inch mark. And then when I move the whole project, slide, then I know just to add 12 and a half inches from my little cut mark on. Now, for those of you who have super long work tables, uh, not made of leftover plywood, good for you. Snipping my way through all the way to that little cut mark right there, which I know means I need to add 12 and a half inches. Mm, when I go to cut, tuk, 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 these two will intersect, boop, about right there. These guys really do like to, you know, surprise, like little wicked jack-in-the-boxes. No shame in using as many weights to tame the beast. Woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo. Hey, I'm gonna go take that somewhere else, okay? Thank you. Yesterday I retreated because it was too dang cold. I was losing feeling in my hands, so this is day two of trying to attach the wire to the door. So I've got my wire cut and ready to, to attach. I'm going to cut some strips that are the width and length of my door. If you're out here doing stuff like this, you can forget the fancy manicure. Before you cut, if you have one that plugs in, make sure the cord is out of the way so you don't cut your cord. Just keep that in mind while you cut. And make sure the surface your cutting on is clear. I happen to be cutting the surface itself, so it doesn't matter. But if I had this resting on a table or something I cared about, I'd want to pull my material out, the material I want to cut away from whatever's underneath. So clear, two pieces cut. Steve was watching me and he's got a lot more practice on these than I do. And he told me I had a bit of a death grip on the, the front handle and the trigger here and he said just relax and let the saw do the work for you and actually my uh my lane my lines come out a lot straighter when i just relax i've got an inch up here of plywood and an inch down here of plywood so instead of cutting the uh, original 64 and a half inches long now i'm going to subtract the two inches since this is reclaimed lumber, I've got all these gnarly nails and things I gotta work out. So I straighten these up, pound them from that side, and as soon as they poke their little heads out, grab them with some kind of little crowbar or cat's paw. Ta-da! I can clearly see that I'd probably be better off if I went ahead and took off this length right here. Just my opinion. I think I'd look tidier. So not knowing what I didn't know, um, I cut these a little long to fit 
the door perfectly. And now I see I need to cut them to fit the wire. So I've got my wire sandwiched between this strip and the frame, the door frame, so I can pull it nice and taut. And what in doing so I have discovered, I can take off a little bit of length. See how it's not, they're not coming through the other side yet, but they are ready. So I don't have to hold with one hand that way. Um, I've got the screw, or I've got the driver in my right hand. Freeze up my left hand then to pull and adjust this wire while I go along. Nope, two inch, too long. I found one and three quarters, so we're gonna give those a try. That's what you do when you're done with it, you just throw it. Might not seem like a big deal to a lot of people, but for me, this is a big deal because I've never done one before. I learned so much doing this, like where to put your hinge. Because I put the hinge flat on the outside and I've got structure here on the inside, there's limited uh, movement towards the inside here. It does not open to the inside, but swings freely to the outside. I used the hinges I had on hand that I had salvaged from the old um, outhouse. I'm sure there's all sorts of better hinges I could have used that would have allowed more uh, back and forth motion. I am now understanding what allows a door to swing back and forth. Oh, this door's not gonna hang up on anything. There's plenty of clearance there, so. Hey, my first door. Ta-da!